All right, bright and early coming at you live with Clients Fish. We're out here today. We're gonna to be fishing a very similar spot that we've been fishing quite recently, except today the conditions really seem to pan out. We have a nice transition from a nice high tide down to the low. So we're about one hour out from the high tide. We're gonna fish for a couple hours there in that window, transitioning water. We're gonna be fishing a little bit of a river mouth. So we'll see if there's any fish going from the inside to the outside there and kind of catch them in transition. And then we'll also be sure to focus on a little bit of artificials today like I got here. And if that doesn't pan out, then we'll try Carolina rig and a little bit more traditional perch style fishing. But we'll see what we can get going on the artificials and then we'll transition over to that stuff later. So stay tuned and keep an eye out. So what I'm doing right now is just fan casting. It's a pretty common method that you see uh, a lot of people do when halibut fishing or even just when surf fishing. But what I'm doing is I'm starting to the right and then by about 15, 30 degrees, I'll just change my direction each cast and work as a fan. If nothing on that cast, I'll either change up my retrieve method or I'll just work my way down the beach and then do another set of fan casting because with halibut, they sit on sand. Unfortunately, everywhere here is pretty much sand. So you just kind of got to cover that surface area as you go. And that way you just have higher odds of kind of running into a fish. Got one. There we go, baby. Eww. Oh. Again. On the jerk bait, this time in the mouth, another butterball perch. Look at that thing. Oh my god, that, that's not long, but it's thick as hell <laughs> so i was fishing right in the halibut looking zone calm water and i guess these surf perch are transitioning in and out of the uh, estuary back there because we're catching them right here so we're going to try to get this one back in the water before she's about to spawn we don't want to trigger a early spawn even though the fry might live it's just better to not, not have that happen out. so we're gonna try to get these hooks out nice and gently and then get her back in the water. Always keep some pliers or hemostats on you. Let me get this one first. Cause you don't wanna mess with these Rapala hooks. They're sharp. And once you have a hook in your hand, that's a tough day. And when you have a hook in your hand attached to a fish, that's an even worse day. There you go. All right, all right. <sighs> Look at how round that fish is. So you can see she's actually literally about to pop. <laughs> so we're gonna get her in the water. Not as big as the one last week, but just as fat. We're gonna set her right back where we got her. Watch that hook there. Let's see if we can get a good release on her. There she goes, that way. Right back into the canal. Dude, how cool is that? So all I'm doing is targeting halibut, trying to get halibut, but the perch are sitting right where the halibut I thought would be. We're casting against the drop off. If you wanna come over here, you can see actually it drops off significantly right here. Usually when the water gets warm and the spring comes along, the halibut will sit right on this drop off or even down in the flat. And all I'm doing is starting against the drop off and then just changing it, doing that fan casting until I get about there. Then I come back about 10 yards and do the same thing. And I'm just slow winding it throwing a jerk in every once in a while. And that's where I got that perch, right in this kicked up water. You can actually see the current right on the drop off as the wave action meets the estuary water. Lo and behold, a big old perch about to pop. So we're gonna keep doing that. Maybe some more perch, maybe even halibut. Stay tuned. All right, so we just moved over to this rockier side because the rocky side actually has a deeper drop off. So we're gonna try to work this deep stretch, see if there's any halibut staging right here. So let's give it a shot. Oh, <laughs> that was so sick. That was so cool. <laughs> that was sick. Oh, this must be the same fish from last week too. Oh, that was so cool. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> It's not that big of a howl of it, but it's on ultralight gear. Oh my gosh. And I was throwing this jerk bait. I could see the jerk bait and this howl of it came like 10 yards away. Boom, T-boned it at the rocks. He's like barely hooked. We're gonna get him up on this sandy flat so he doesn't get himself cut up on any rocks. And we're gonna, we're gonna get him tired out for a moment. 
and then we're just gonna work with him. We're gonna get him off this. Uh, I think he's just on one treble hook, which is good. That was so cool. <laughs> I had one do the exact same thing last week. I guarantee it's the same fish. <laughs> I missed it last time. Oh, barely hooked. Look at that first halibut in the JJ baby. <laughs> that was so cool. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna watch for stingrays because I saw a whole bunch over here. Oh, that's mud. Gross. Okay. Oh yeah, I like that rock action. Let's do that. All right. Oh, we've been casting for like two weeks for one of these. It's not the biggest, but it's not horrible. Gotta be big. Yep, that's why. Gotta be careful when you're working with squirrely fish and trouble hooks. There he goes. Oh, that was so cool. So we just been biting that one halibut right here at the beach. Beautiful, quick release, awesome fish, awesome take. Now we're gonna do the same thing, because usually with halibut where there's one, there's many. So we're gonna try that same zone, see if there's a couple more, probably a couple more shorts with them, maybe a big female staging, so we'll see. Let's give it a shot. Just came off my line. It's not fighting yet, but no, it's a fish, it's a halibut. It's another halibut. Always oh, pissed. Dude, we're in the spot, baby. Oh, he's real pissed off. That's a bigger one. <laughs> oh my God, look at the turns. Holy crap, Ryan, you gotta get all this, man. Oh, he just comped up a sardine. That was sick. Ooh, it's a little better. A little better, very similar size. Look at that, he comped up a sardine over there. Okay, all right, take it easy. We're fishing four pounds, so very light. Ooh, watch out for the rocks. All right, all right, keep him in the sand, keep him in the sand. He's so pissed off. So halibut are notorious for um, kind of fighting like a wet sock until, when you're fishing on beaches and bays anyways, fighting like a wet sock, the moment you get them up to skinny water, they're like, oh my God, I'm hooked, freak out. So, <laughs> um, that was his second run right there, it looks like. So we're just gonna get him up into skinny water. Oh, a little, got a little more. Oh, he keeps running that same lane right there. Ooh, he is pissed off. Field day on these out right now. Awesome. Yeah, that's a little better. Just an inch or two larger. Every inch counts. All right. all right all right tuck her out why don't you this one's also just barely hooked on that last tuck which is my favorite short halibut barely hooked that's that's how you want it with the jerk base don't want to be fighting three hooks out of a big fish especially in water just a pain nice fish oh, that's a nice butt two right there remember i was saying where there's one there's more just like that Boom, easy, I love it. Not to rub off any of that slime coat. Beautiful little fish, just like that. Not a monster halibut by any means, but super fun on four pound, on the artificial. Can't beat it. Let's give him a good release. Send him off here. Just give him a second. Come on now. Let him off, there he goes. Boom, right back down to the sand. All right, so we're just wrapping up an awesome morning. We just fished the local beach and river mouths out here, in beautiful Southern California. We spent a while at uh, one spot, started at the first section towards the river mouth. And um, it was fun, it looked beautiful, but it didn't turn out as we wanted. We were kind of looking for halibut and larger, more predatory species. We ended up bumping into a really ferocious perch on the jerk bait, which was great. We uh, hiked it on up, fished a little deeper into the river mouth as the uh, current kind of settled further away from the delta, the sand became a little more silty, so we tried that out. And sure enough, not just one, but two beautiful little cookie cutter halibut, right about 18 inches, 16 to 18 inches or so. 
all those fish came on this wonderful lure. Fish are within casting range of this. I totally recommend this bait. It's a slow sink jerk bait. It's a shadow wrap by Rapala. Really perfect, small, compact for profile. I was throwing it on an ultralight setup. Super compact, finesse little jerk bait. And ended up panning out today. So we, we definitely scored, had a great day. Spring is here. We're starting to see halibut. We're starting to see good sized perch. So it was definitely a worthwhile trip today. Anyways, thanks so much for watching and tune in next time.